Hey everyone, I'm Maddie, and I've got a question for you. Do you like Brussels sprouts? These bright green baby cabbage lookalikes. So personally, I actually quite like them and they're so good for you. Amazingly, just a small handful about this size has four times the amount of vitamin C as just one orange. So you can't really argue with that. And whether you love them or hate them, Brussels sprouts are a fairly important part of most people's Christmas dinners here in the UK. But do you know how they grow? Well, to find out, I've come to Laslett's farm in Kent on a fairly drizzly day where earlier this year they planted 55,000 Brussels sprouts. But they didn't always look like this. Brussels sprouts start life as seeds, but those seeds aren't planted straight into the ground in the open fields. They're first planted in greenhouses. The seeds are placed in shallow trays of soil, are given plenty of water, and are allowed to grow till they're about 10 centimetres tall. And when these small plants have a good seven strong leaves on them, that's when they're ready to be moved from the safety of the greenhouses into the fields. You can think of it like a plant starting out in nursery before it gets moved to big school and this process is called transplanting. Those baby brussels were planted out in the fields back in the spring. Fast forward six months it's now December and the sprouts are ready for picking. Here we have some fully grown brussels sprout plants but do you know where the sprouts actually are? Well if we take a little look behind these leaves you can see them hiding just here. The sprouts actually grow all the way along the stalk of the plants. And I actually think it looks quite funny, especially when you're surrounded by quite so many Brussels sprout plants. Now it's the ones at the bottom that grow first. And to pick them, you just need to give them a twist and a sharp tug downwards. So let's give it a go. Perfect one Brussels sprout. You can pick Brussels sprouts one by one like this, but this farm do things a little bit differently. Here they cut the Brussels sprouts by hand and first of all they chop them at the base and then they trim off the leaves but they make sure they leave the top part of the plant this bit and that's because the leaves are edible too they can be chopped up and put in all sorts of recipes but then the full stalk of Brussels is put on the back of a truck which then goes to a local farm shop and can be bought by customers interestingly this plant actually prefers the cooler weather in fact if a sprout grows through a few frosts that's when the weather gets so cold it's icy apparently it makes them taste better it's meant to make them sweeter and this is one of the main reasons why we eat sprouts at Christmas time because they're a winter veg now I'm very kindly being allowed to take some of these home to taste because I've heard that eating Brussels sprouts fresh really is when they're at their best so I'm gonna grab myself a leaf as a plate and go sprout picking in the kitchen. Now Brussels sprouts can be eaten in lots of different ways. If you want to, you can eat them raw in salads. And that's actually pretty good. Um, but, one minute. However, most of us tend to boil them in water, but this is where so many of us are going wrong because we overcook them in this way. And Brussels sprouts contain a chemical called sulforaphane. And when you overcook it, it tends to give off a kind of um, gassy smell, a little bit like rotten eggs. And this is why so many people don't like them. So today I'm gonna to try something a little bit different. I'm going to chop them in half, put them on a roasting tray, drizzle them with some olive oil and some seasoning, pop them in the oven and see how it goes. Let's give these roast brussels a taste and uh, see what I think. Mm. Mm. Now that everyone is the way forward, so if you don't think you like Brussels sprout, maybe give them another chance. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see another one of my how does it grows then just click on this video just here, subscribe, stay curious and I'll see you soon. Bye!